on this Labor Day 2013 labor union rally. The workers and their supporters see another collective bargaining fight on the horizon. Union solidarity was in full strength at a Labor Day picnic in Rossford. Liz Schuler, secretary treasurer of the AFL-CIO, says working class Americans are not earning a fair salary. Workers are getting the short end of the stick. Uh, the middle class is being squeezed and we see a lot of wealth being accumulated at the top end of the economy and not much for working families. I asked Schuler if President Obama bears any responsibility. I think uh, we have had our challenges in the economy. We know that and we're continuing to knock on his door and, and talk about how we need to inject more fairness, how we need to um, you know, continue to, to grapple with the inequality that we're seeing. A group called Ohio for Workplace Freedom is collecting signatures in an attempt to get a constitutional amendment on the ballot for November 2014 that could dramatically change the rules governing labor unions. State Senator Nina Turner from Cleveland is opposed to Ohio becoming a right to work state. We are here fighting for all workers. We know that in states where there are right to work laws, wages are less. And so we are here to fight for working class people, whether they're in labor unions or not, so that they can have a wage to take care of their families. Right to work for less does not work. If the workplace freedom constitutional amendment makes it to the ballot in November 2014, union workers believe that they will be able to defeat it. We might see it next year on the ballot, but uh, you know, I, I really think it's gonna uh, charge up the, uh, the labor folks and get everybody out to vote. In Rossford, I'm Hubert Wiggins, WNWO News.